Well, it's hard to credit Keith. It's 25 years since we were out here in those famous four games. It is, Colin, and you've weathered well in those <laughs> 25 years. Fair play to you. <laughs> I think one of the greatest things about those four matches, Colm, was the supporters loved it. Oh, yeah. There was great rivalry between Dublin and Mead. I remember the first match, though. We were well down coming up to half-time, and we got a penalty, and staff stuck it in the corner here in the railway end and got us back into the game because Dublin were very much on top. And then that famous ball that... From PJ Gillig, yes. Bounced right in front but of John O'Leary. Could have been a goal. Could have been a goal. Could have been all over. And... There would have been no fun. There would have been no fun, <laughs> yes. That second match, I think, was a, a, cold, a cold, wet day. Cold, wet day, and it was a tough day, and again, very similar to the type of games that we've always played. Nobody was going to give an inch. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think there was a lot of freezing in that game throughout it. Everybody was on top of their game. The yeah. football wasn't pretty, but the excitement was still there. I think you Dublin know? set out with negative tactics that day. They decided that they were going to foul Mead as, far, as much as possible, slow down the game as De much as they were. Definitely. <laughs> That's why Brian Stafford ended up as the highest scorer in the front team. Yeah. So you can blame Paddy Cullen for that. <laughs> and obviously Sean Boylan and Sean Boylan. He would Sean, never go down that well, road. Sean Boylan never said do go in hard on anyone. No, he and did except not. Except number one yeah. 15. Can I just remember in that second match I think there was one man sent off yeah from the Mead yeah. side who was that it, Vinnie Murphy lay down did he he, he lay sure? down yeah and, and Tommy he got Howard, Mick. He, he fooled Tommy, 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 Tommy Howard Tommy. and Mick yeah. went off and Mick went off like a gentleman that he was he, he was yeah question yes. it. he didn't question it. he took it on the chin he walked off Vinnie missed the great chance at the right end right at to, the end to really bury us to really bury us a great save by Mickey McQuinn in yeah. the whole lot and we were lucky it wasn't that it was at the end of the game because we didn't give you an opportunity to come back <laughs> the other end to score but I think the third game Dublin had there were probably again on top for most with Berna Flynn got a goal and uh, I think staff kicked a, a brilliant free to bring it to extra time again. That's right. You were after attempting grievous body Lee Harm on me again and Tommy Howard Legally. went looking for you. He yes. must have known you very well. He, he found it awful hard well, to I find was, you. I was very disappointed with you, Colin, that day because when I <laughs> when I tackled you fairly and legally, you complained to Tommy Howard. Oh, and I Tommy did. Howard, <laughs> now I wasn't going to voluntarily hand myself up. I mean, I am from Dublin. I am from the north side. And if somebody comes looking for you, you make sure they have to travel to do it. <laughs> Kyler got the goal, I think, straight at the start of yeah, extra time. Extra time. And we, we went straight, straight down, down got, straight down yeah. the field and uh, Jack Sheedy took a shot and Paul Clark tapped it in. Tapped it in. At him. And again, game back on. Yes, and decided and we go away and try and kill one another the next day. The uh, next day. And, and I, you did in the fourth just, game. You finally got it right with we, me in the fourth match. We did. We did indeed. And I'm aiming here he is at full blame for that. It's the only game that I can't remember anything about the first half. I just can't remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it just knocked me cold, that one. Yeah. And it took me until the second half to recover. Yeah. But I, I had to go home after the match it was and watch the game to it see It was what a happened. wonderful blow by Eamon Heary. Okay. He My daughter it. was at, up in the Hogan stand, she was young at the time, and she yeah. said to her mother, is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> and the truth was, very nearly. Very nearly. <laughs> Tommy, how will give you the easy penalty just to finish us off? I knew I wasn't going to leave Crow Park today without you mentioning it, but, the whole, but it was an opportunity to bury us. Oh, yes. The whole yeah. lot, and I was quite happy to stand up and take it. it and you had Nick Lyons running alongside you, advising you. What, well, well as, what to I, as, I walked, <laughs> as I walked back to take the penalty, I had a look to my right. There was nothing but Dublin and Mead players jostling all around. Jostling, the zone, that's not a good word. It a fantastic, <laughs> it's a polite word. And it was a good penalty. Good bang penalty. It. Yeah, bang. Look, look, Mickey McQueen didn't shaved, have a chance. Shaved the yes. outside of the post. That's, that's the way it goes, the mm. whole lot. But it was an important kick. It did give me momentum. You know, if we had yes. got that score, it was an important score. And if we got it, I think, I think went, what, seven or eight up? we would have went seven or eight up yeah, at, that, yeah. at the stage. And it was all you know over. what I mean? And it was all over. So you don't give me the opportunities mm. to come back. And that's what happened, Colin. Yeah. You just mm. came back. Mm. I think you had moved on to Mick Kennedy at that stage. The whole yeah. you had left me. Yeah, after four, was, you had enough after four matches. I yeah. hadn't got a kick for four games. And Mick Kennedy was a much nicer fella. He was indeed, mm. yeah. It's still possible. Foley. Into Gillick. A lot of poor marking by Dublin. And it's Tommy Dunn who's going to run through the heart of Foley. And it's My memory of it is John O'Leary scrambling across the goal yes. and slipping. 
That's right, yeah. And gets within inches of, of blocking it. his kick. Correct, and, yes. And for Kevin yeah. Foley, I yeah. think the only score he ever got for me. Yeah, uh, and uh, uh, look at in history, history, yes. As the man that broke the dubs. And yeah. of course, that only levelled it. That only levelled it, exactly. Foley's goal was a tsunami of me players coming to you. Yeah. He's had the experience now, so he's went for the juggler. Oh, well, we couldn't afford to go yeah. to extra time because yeah. I think we were going to be run off our feet. And so. I think Hayes gave a ball, a great ball across to PJ Gilly. Yeah, he slipped onto it Jinxie. In, onto Jinxie and over the bar. Over the bar. With you. But my memory of the last part of it was Mick McQuillan kicking the ball out. Yes. And all you could see was the waves of yeah. people. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jubilation, yeah. And the absolute stunned silence from the hill. Hill, and our supporters enjoyed it. And to this yeah. day, they talk it about it. They talk about it. It seems about and five it. years ago. Yeah, absolutely. And the time. best part of it all yeah. was we won. And we remain friends. <laughs> and we don't forget it. <laughs>